today's video, I will be cutting out a rhinestone template that I created on my Cricut Design Space. And I'm gonna be using my Cricut Joy Extra using this flock that I bought from Amazon. They're this, this pack, uh, I think seven sheets of the flock and seven sheets of the transfer tape. I used this before and I didn't have any problems with it. I, it cut perfect the first time. So I decided to buy some more. But this time I have seven sheets. The last one I bought, it was only three sheets. I paid $19.99 for this. And the company is Glotto. I will put it in the description box. And I also will be using my Light Grip uh, Cricut Mat. This is an old mat that all the sticky came off of it and everything. And I first time I ever done the rhinestone template, I used my strong grip mat and it was a new one. Now, so let me try it on one of my old blue ones. And I did, and it, I mean, it did just the same. And it actually put, like, brought back this little sticky on my mat. So I'm going to use a old mat to cut it out. I'm going to use rhinestone from Hot Fix Rhinestones. And this, on this shirt, I used a different company and I paid $7.99 for it. Um, I will put the name and everything in the description box. But I decided to go with um, the HTV, uh, HTV Ront. I used the uh, products before, so I decided to use these today. This was like, I think I got $28.40 out of this pack. And it was like $2 cheaper, so... I decided to try it maybe it you know hope it just do it same i hope it just come out the same but um yeah this is the my first rhinestone i credit i created the uh glass the one the wine glass off of um cricket and i got the letters off of epson um the reason i wanted to buy more uh the you know, the designs off the of acid, but a lot of designs people create doesn't fit for my uh, Cricut Joy. And that's the only cut machine I have. So I decided to figure out how I can make my own templates, my own size. So one way um, I would watch a video from Jennifer Maker. She showed you the project. Like I haven't done like a really, really big project off of it because it does take a lot of time. So, but hey, it fit, I mean, it works well for me. So I'm going to use it until I find it. buy this other uh, design website. And I think it's like $60, $70 and I don't have the money to do it right now. So until then, I will be making my templates off of the Cricut Design Space. All right. I am going to use two different rhinestones. I'm going to use sapphire. Uh, it is so pretty. I got this little box that I put them in, little container. I got them off of, uh, from the Dollar Tree. And I will be using green. Those are my little girl's favorite, two favorite colors. All right. I bought some rhinestones off of AliExpress. I paid 99 cents, free shipment, and the SS10, that is the rhinestone I'm gonna be using today too. And these rhinestones in this shirt, let's see, then you can see, is SS10. So I got these rhinestones. They came in yesterday. I ordered them last week. The shipper is fast. Free shipment. You get their SS10. This is the Tope, I think. Hello. Mm. I think this is Tope. But anyway, it's just like a yellow. Oh, they're really pretty. 
seem like the same size. You get 1440 and you pay $0.99 cents for them. And I got the color, this is rainbow. I pay, I think I paid one, it was over a dollar for these. The same size SS10, 1,440 pieces. I think I'm paying 157. And then I have purple, purple's my favorite color. Same size. 1,440 rhinestones, free shipment, and I got them within a week. I was amazed. They showed up yesterday, so maybe if they work, okay. I may be going to LA Express to get mine because with these rise dolls, I pay $7.99. These rise dolls for HTV rods, I pay $5.69. And that's still pretty good, you know? Um, but other than that, that's all the stuff I will be using in this video. Of course, I will be using my little roller. And this shirt I have worn before and I washed it and I still have all my stones intact. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, my computer is rebooting. Tell me hi, Nance. Hi. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open this and put it on my mat. And yeah, also come with this little scoop. I use this to scoop the rhinestone up. Uh, and they have instructions how to cut it, but I use 80% uh, heavy, no, 80 pound car stock to cut mine. So it's almost there. Let me see. I want to say these sheets is like, it may be eight and a half. No, yeah, eight and a half by 12. That's the size sheets. Yeah. And they have the rows too, but um, since I have good results on the sheets. I decided to stay with the, sh the sheets. And maybe when I get a new color, I will go with the, the rolls. Light grip, Cricut mat. All right, let's go to Cricut. All right, I'm getting ready to go to Cricut Design Space. Nancy, you want to tell the people your name? Mm -hmm. Well, I just told them, right? <laughs> you want to tell them how old you are? Yeah. Tell them, how old are you? And what grade you in? Yeah. How you liking school so far? A little. A little? All right. I'm in Cricut Design Space. I'm in my my stuff. And today I will be cutting out the Mickey Mouse ears. I also have this one. But this one is, my daughter said this one is a Christmas Mickey Mouse head. And this is Minnie Mouse. These three I designed. I also designed this heart. 
And I try to do the letters, but I don't like the E. I didn't like the E, so I'm gonna have to redo that one. I don't know if you can see. But anyway, so this is the one I'm going to make, customize. Let me show you the size. So this size of my Mickey Mouse head is 9.5 wide and 7.527 is the height. So that's the size of my template. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to make it. I'm gonna put it on that. And I don't have to mirror it. All right, so let's get set up my Cricut machine. And we're gonna get started. All right, there's my Cricut machine. And now I'm gonna hit continue. Medium car stock, 80 pound. And then I'm going to put it on more pressure. Right, so now. Instructions for my heat press is 340 for 40 seconds, medium pressure. So my cricket is done cutting. So let's see. For 40 seconds. Unload. All right. You really can't tell. Let's get it off here. So, see, it cut pretty good. I see one, two, three, four, five holes that I just have to take out. See? 
All right, now I'm going to put it back on the sheet that came on until I get ready to use it. And like I said before, I designed this myself on Cricut. Took me a while to do, but I did it. This is the Tiki. <coughs> All right, so I have to clean up my mess. All right, so that's what it looked like. really really good and it was quick too because sometimes I see people with like uh, the bigger cricket take them forever they said sometimes it takes 30 minutes all right so I'm gonna keep this I can use this for something so all right so let's get to putting the rhinestones on Nancy, will you put this on the bar, please? Okay, I got this from the dollar store. I put my template on top of this to like to put my rhinestones on. I got this from the Dollar Tree, I must say. So the camera can catch it. So, now I'm looking for my painter brush. Okay. All right. I use this. It's called a painter's edge brush. I got this from Lowe's. I think I paid like maybe $3 or something. It comes with this and a, uh, a refill pack. So I'm using this. And I got my wax pen. Come with this little case and I have has like these little refills or whatever you want to call it. So this is my wax pen. Oh. And this is the pen. I got it from Amazon and it comes with some tweezers. Okay, so I thought I was recording this whole time when I started doing the top part, but it wasn't recording. So, like I was saying, I put painter's tape on the bottom part because I don't know another way to do it. I know there are other ways. I just haven't uh, found the videos to teach me how yet. So this is how I do it. And yeah, it can be a big mess, but it gets the job do done. So the top part, the top of Mickey Mouse is going to be the sapphire blue the bottom half is going to be green and like I actually recorded the whole 
thing, but like I said, it wasn't recorded, so. Now all my rhinestones is stuck. Not all, but some of my rhinestones stuck in this tape. So I'm gonna have to brush this off, get this off, and then I will put the green. Next thing I am going to learn is an easier way to do different colors on these templates. All of them in there, except a few of them. I'm gonna just put them in there myself. All right, let me get my wax in. Put them in there. Well. Nancy, you have to pause your video. Because I don't want YouTube to flag my uh, my channel or whatever, okay? Alright. Let's get these off. I think all the holes are complete. I just have to get these off. Take my finger. I think it's quicker that way. So, almost done with the blue. Just getting these little pieces out of the way. So, I got all the blues up. Let me take the painter's tape off. And I'm going to have to get the ones that got stuck to the tape. I got exciting news today. My senior girl got nominated, got nominated for Hong Kong Queen. Congratulations to her. 
I got the phone call. Well, she told me yesterday, and then I got the phone call today, so they could tell me what all she had, like all about and stuff. So congratulations to her. She's a senior in high school. All right, so let me see. That's the top part of Mickey. Okay, we're back on camera. Now we're fixing to do the green. Look how pretty they are. Ooh, they just uh, blinging. get too close to the blue because I don't want to uh, knock the blue out so I will put them in there one by one so so that was easy See. I did have some turnover. I don't know how I did that. I think when I was moving it, looking for um, my little yellow scraper. I'm going to just turn that back up, them up, the blue back over. extra blue let me make sure they all huh I must miss that I got two extra blues I don't know how I got that one let me make sure that I got them all hmm So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six that I need to put the green inside. Three holes, six holes that I need to put green inside. I'm going to do it like that. All right. It's been a while since I did a video, but I have been doing... Um, video some video shorts that I post on TikTok and then I post on my uh, YouTube all right so it's all done you really can't tell but they all on there let me put it right so let's go let's put on the transfer tape. I'll be back on camera in a minute. All right, I know I said I was gonna put the uh, transfer tape, do the transfer tape first, but I'm going to get my shirt ready and get that out of the way. Nancy, will you hand me the shirt, please? And then I will do the transfer because I hate that if I, I hate um, to have to do the transfer and then put it back on the film so it won't get messed up and then turn around and so I'm just going to just do the t-shirt. It's right here, babe. So, let's do that. Alright. Like I said, I don't know if I told you in the beginning of the video, I got this t-shirt from Target. Um, the regular price was $4 and I paid $3 for them last week. Or well, a couple weeks ago, they was on sale. So I'm putting my 
a folding my shirt in half This is heavy pressure. Put it on for like five seconds. So I got a crease in the middle. Take my roller. And I got this roller at the at Walmart. I think I paid like 97 cents or something. It wasn't expensive, so. Now let's do the transfer tape. And this is not the regular transfer tape you use for um, the vinyl. Um, this is like a heat transfer tape. I come in these little sheets. And you can reuse these. I got some old ones, but I didn't feel like fooling with That's what they look like. They have a little back into it. They're very, very sticky, so I'm going to put it on something. All right. So I'm going to fold it in half. Just drop it. So now I'm going to take my little roller. And just roll them so far. I don't have none that turned over. They all stand in the same spot. Nancy, will you do me a favor? Never mind, I have it. So I'm gonna do it one time. I'm gonna mark my shirt. I'm going to do three fingers. Put that so I mark it with the heat tape so I know where to put it. I don't have my ruler, but it look right, so. All right, so I'm going to easy. So far it's coming up. No stones left behind. All right. So. 
All right. We all in there? None turned over so far. I'm going to put it right here where I marked it at. Let's see. All right, all in on there. None turn over, they all in the same spot. Medium pressure for 40 seconds. Let's see. It doesn't say, um, if it's a cool pill or a hot pill, but all the rest of them been a cold pill, so I'm gonna let it cool down. Move my stuff. Like I said, my stuff is time limited. some of the stuff that I made my Tim uh, my tumbler my Halloween tumbler this is my personal tumbler I haven't used yet but this is mine personal and this is a fall tumbler all right so my t-shirt have cooled down let's peel it off for the grand reveal So far. Oh. Rip it. All right, this is the t shirt. Great that turned out, right? Ooh, I'm so proud of myself. All right, I think I'm gonna put her name on top. Yeah. All right, so let me show you some of the things I have made with my new tumbler machine. Well, heat press, my new tumbler heat press. Let me show you. I've been having this, I can't remember when I bought this, but uh, I got it for the cheap. I think I got it around Father's Day because they had a Father's Day uh, sale of Vivor, I think that's how you said. But it's it worked perfectly, perfect. I think I paid you like $40 for it. So, yeah, so I love my little heat press. Tumbler, tumbler. All right. Now these are the tumblers I made. I have made a lot more, but I have gave them away or something. But um, yeah, I made a lot more. And I made a lot of stuff. And my little fall mouse pad. Okay, that's the end of my video. I hope y'all enjoy my little video. Um, one thing I want to say, I do enjoy crafting. I've been crafting a lot. I just haven't recorded myself. I really want to actually get the stuff down packed before I make a video, just like this rhinestone uh, video. Um, shoot, I don't know. I think I've done quite a few rhinestone videos making little t-shirts and stuff for my uh, niece and my daughter and i decided you know what let me go out there and make me a video i think the next video i will be making me a tumblr video because i think i'm a hot stuff with my tumblr i'm not making my tumblers but <laughs> but anyways but yeah this 
a crafting adventure has been so fun for me and it gives me something to do. It's my hobby and I really enjoy it. I mean, like I get into stuff and I be like, <sighs> you know, I get bored easily. And and for me to be doing this ever since uh, February, I think, I'm like really just, you know, I, I mean, it's amazed me that I was stuck to something because I mean, I really do enjoy it. You know, I'm not making any money off this stuff, not yet. Now, I didn't say yet, but um, so I'm buying little things as I go. Right, so I, I really want the uh, Cricut Maker 3, but it's more expensive, so I can wait uh, to get that. That would be like probably, I don't know, it's something else I might get before I get the 3. But my next goal is the uh, Cricut Maker Explore 2 or 3. What, which one is cheapest? But, um, let me get off here so I can take these girls to Walmart. I hope y'all will enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time. Bye. Tell me bye, Nance. Bye. Hello. Let me put it down. Tell me bye. Bye. Oh, you still can't see you. Bye. Come, baby, you got All right, she's been shy. Bye.